Tech and today I'll be reviewing the Ducky DK9008S keyboard. Now the Ducky comes in many different key switches and LED lights. This one you'll see comes in a brown switch and red LEDs. We'll talk about the switches a bit more later. But, uh, the Ducky comes with the features inbuilt memory, so it's got two different profiles in which you can choose how many lights you want uh, lit up. Uh, it's got reactive lighting mode which means uh, every key you touch will light up and has dual layer PCB so you know it's going to be really good quality wiring separation which means the cord isn't inbuilt into the keyboard it's actually completely separate so if you lose a cord or something you can just get a replacement or get a better quality cord uh, it's got lockable windows key for gaming which is a big, big thumbs up for all us gamers okay so it's got custom uh, dip switches so you can change all the different settings we'll talk about that a bit later and adjustable volume control so you can control all of your music media uh, it's got uh, N key rollover so you can press pretty much any or as many keys as you want and it'll register each, each one and double layer laser engraved keycaps so uh, really good quality keycaps which aren't going to wear out if you use them alright so now we're going to be unboxing this and uh, started. Now it'll be interesting to see if they include the felt cover like they have in the past models. Oh, and they don't. That's a big disappointment actually. I was expecting a felt cover, but anyway, here you've just got the manual. It says plug it into the USB, I'm guessing. It tells you how to use the inbuilt profiles. Now, the keyboard itself, I'll leave that for later. Accessories. In terms of accessories, Ducky doesn't usually come with much. Looks like, yep, there it is. Comes with a red WAS and D keycaps with a keycap remover. It's got the separate gold plated cord. Now, people often say, why is it gold plated? Now, the reason is not because it's a better conductor than copper, but because gold is actually malleable, so you know that every time you plug this in, it's going to change the inside connectors a tiny bit. So it's got a perfect connection every time. Now, keyboard itself, it's got plastic cover on it, which protects it in shipping, I guess. And this is it. Now, it's quite heavy. It's about one and a half kilos, and feels very rigid. So you know it's not going to break on you anytime soon. On the back, it's got a couple of rubber pieces here so you know it's not going to slip and slide to up here and these lift up they don't have rubber on them though okay so here you've got the dip switches now the first switch is going to control the windows key if it's on it's going to have it locked so when you're gaming and you're using your WASD keys go to press control or shift you don't accidentally press the windows key and get out of your game especially if you're online that would be get very frustrating uh, second key switches the control and caps lock keys around so Pretty straightforward, control B up here, caps off down there. Uh, the third one switches the left Windows key with the left Alt key. So they'll just be switched around here. You can change the keycaps if you wanted to. Uh, the fourth one, so far I don't know what it does, but I think it has something to do with compatibility with Mac. So that just doesn't matter at all. Uh, now we'll look at the keyboard a bit closer. Uh, you can have it down like this, or you can lift it up with these stands on the back. Now they don't lift it up too much, but I guess, I think it's pretty good. Um, this is the sound in terms of other ones. It's not the loudest mechanical keyboard I've heard. Definitely not the quietest either. Uh, this one uses MX Brown switches. So key switches guys, there's four different main types of switches. There's black, red, blue and brown. So the black ones are more for your gamers. They're completely linear, very quiet and uh, the reds have are the, pretty much the same, but they have less resistance. So if you're looking for a more like easier to use kind of uh, lower resistance keyboard, then I'd go for the reds. Uh, blue is more for typing enthusiasts who want a good typing experience. Uh, blues are very loud; they click a lot. So if you have a roommate who doesn't like noise, I'd suggest uh, steer clear of the blues. Um, this one, which is brown, uh, the brown keys. Uh, Pretty much in between, so they're a little bit tactile, but they're still they're not as loud as a blue. They're not as tactile as a blue, also though. So I like this one because it's in between. You know, you can get both experiences in one. Here's the layout, guys. 
Now, it's got a pretty standard layout. You see here, they haven't done anything stupid with the uh, enter key or backspace key. They're both full size. The enter key is just one line, not stupid and taken over that. Uh, here you see delete key is normal size, which is pretty good. Full numpad here. And uh, up here, the media keys, which you'd use press function and those together, which I would have liked to see a function on this side, but, you know, guess if you don't want it to get in the way of your gaming. Uh, here you've got mute, volume down, volume up, play, pause, stop, previous, next, and these two keys here, CM1, CM2, they control the profiles of your keyboard, so how many keys you have lit up on your personal profiles. And this one here changes the default profiles, so not sure, exactly sure how many profiles there are, but I would switch between them all. There's brightness down, brightness up. I think there's five levels of brightness on this keyboard. Guys, and uh, REC1 and REC2, I think they may have something to do with uh, recording the profiles which are controlled with these. So if you press REC1, press as many keys as you want, and they will light up, and then press it again, and it'll uh, take that profile in, put it on the memory. And up here, guys, you've got four different keys here. First one's for calculator, second one goes to my computer, third one is for your emails, and that one will go to your home browser. So that's the layout. I'll plug it in and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so we've got it plugged into my trusty computer. Now at the moment I've got the LEDs switched off. I want to address on the back when I was plugging it in. I noticed there's a few different tunnels for the wiring. So you can have it going to the right, to the left, or straight up. Okay, we'll take a look at the profiles here now. So all you need to do, press function, F10. You've got just the main keyboard. So maybe if you're typing at night, don't want to be distracted by the numpad or anything. Uh, then you've got most of it lit up. After this. Well, this one's really cool, guys. Now, pulsate. So, you know, it's pretty pointless, but if you want to show off at a LAN or something. Don't know if you can see that very well after this. This is the reactive one guys, so if I press some buttons here you can see that the key lights up when I press it. Even the spacebar with the ducky logo. Alright, next one. Just get this crazy thing going on with the F keys. Again, pretty pointless if you want to show off at a LAN maybe, but... And then off again. So, take it back to this one and show you all the different brightness levels. This is the lowest. The second one third, which is, I reckon, where I'd have it, fourth, and then it just gets insanely bright. Alright, so this is the brightest level it is, fourth one, third, second, first. So I think if you're in pitch black, the first one would probably be good enough, you know, you don't want to burn your eyes out, but uh, I think I'd hover around the third one, so if you press caps, the light comes on caps lock, same with num lock, scroll lock. Okay, another thing that comes with them is the uh, red WAS and D keys. They're double layer, laser etched, just as good as the normal keys, and a keycap remover. So I'm going to show you what it looks like with the red WAS and Ds. Alright, so here's the red WAS and D keys put in. So if you're a gamer and you just want that gaming look, you go for this. Uh, this is personally what I'd have it like. Um, so lights up just the same. Looks pretty cool as well because red LED with the red keys. Okay, I forgot to mention in the video guys that uh, Ducky keyboards, they come in many different LED colours. Uh, you've got red, blue, green and white. So thanks for watching here at Noitech.